Hello, and welcome to Momo 634, Motivational Moments Just for Today. Most of yesterday was trying. I was contacted through a business site about doing some work and messaged with the person back and forth, clarifying some expectations before agreeing to meet with them. I woke up early yesterday to prepare. I went to the meeting link at the agreed upon time and it was just one big spamful infomercial that had nothing to do with the work this woman had contacted me about. If you remember in the episode 10 Instant Kindness Boosters, I mentioned respecting the value of someone's time. We're all busy and time is a non-renewable resource. The person had ample opportunities to make her agenda clear given my clarifying questions in our messages beforehand, and could have come clean about what she was really up to. But she never did. Nor did she offer an apology after the meeting. In fact, she doubled down and sent another link to sign up for her spammy endeavor. Later, a friend posted a thread online that seemed to bash all Christians and painted us with a pretty broad brush. After a few other misfires, I was just about done for the day when I saw a beautiful note letting us know that one of the teens at church wanted to get baptized. At the baptism, my oldest son led us in some songs, one of which was, when the saved get to heaven. One of the lines says, Just one glimpse of him in glory will the toils of life repay. That sounds a lot like Second Corinthians 4.17. For our light and momentary affliction is producing for us an eternal glory that is far beyond comparison. I'm choosing to focus on our new babe in Christ and also looking forward to a place where things are not measured in time as they are here. That's what the title of this episode alludes to. This isn't the place to get comfortable. Otherwise, we'd never want to leave or strive for the far better place beyond this life. Until then, I will think about what a number of us said on the negative thread about Christians yesterday. None of us claim to be perfect people, and knowing that, we serve a perfect God. Scammers, like the woman who spammed me, are imperfect people, and then later singing the song my son led helped to hit home the idea that I, too, am imperfect. Our meme for today says, imperfect people need our grace because our perfect God grants grace to his imperfect children. Now, go and read Matthew 18, 21 through 35. Clearly, after yesterday, I need to reread it too. If you enjoyed this podcast, please subscribe and share it with others. You can get the companion meme daily at momo634.substack.com. Free Substack subscribers get the podcast and meme email daily. Paid Substack subscribers get an additional weekend episode on Saturdays, as well as other subscriber-only perks. Momo634 is also on major podcast platforms and on social media. See the tab at momo634.substack.com. Thank you for listening to Momo 634, Motivational Moments Just for Today.